The filter design on the GR100 is, uh, is quite a bit different from the GR300. The GR300 had a 12 dB per octave low pass uh, filter, so you get that real big dramatic filter sweep sound on the GR300. The GR100 is much, uh, it's a little bit more subtle because it's a 12 dB per octave filter. So I'll just play a little bit and I'll move the uh, filter control knob on the uh, guitar. We'll start with the filter closed. <laughs> the same thing on the uh, GR300. So when you have the filter all the way closed on the GR300, it's uh, very little of the uh, guitar signal gets through. And uh, of course the difference is the uh, GR300 minus 24 dB per octave filter, GR100 minus 12 dB per octave filter. We'll turn on the uh, filter modulation. Now that's definitely a sound you do not get on the uh, the Roland uh, GR300. Uh, I'm going to turn the resonance all the way down. So the peak knob seems to con uh, affect where the uh, the frequency modulations, what part of the spectrum it's going to occur as, as we turn the peak knob up. It becomes more mid-rangey, more noticeable. And then the sensitivity controls the amount of effect that the, uh, the uh, envelope generated by the guitar um, has on the uh, filter. I'm going to turn sensitivity to maximum. <laughs> Here's the filter all the way closed. The filter about halfway. And all the way open. And uh, here's a resonance at about halfway. And resonance at max. The, the resonance sound is very, very different on the GR100 as well. If, if you turn the resonance to maximum on the GR300 and sweep open the filter, uh, you get almost a painful level of uh, self-oscillation. Uh, it's much more controlled in, in the GR100. Uh, and like the GR300, there's an inverse uh, feature to invert the uh, filter control. <laughs> And I'm not sure what creates the curve of the envelope that we're listening to, unlike the, uh, the GR300 where there's actually an a, a attack control time, uh, the behavior of this filter seems to be a preset uh, in the GR100. <laughs> Oh, yeah.